Hi friends, uh, today we have Saurabh Sinha, one of our learners and students uh, who has successfully transitioned to a career in data science. Just to give you some background, Saurabh graduated with MCA in 2013 and he has close to seven years of experience uh, at Siemens and Cerner Corporation. Most recently at Cerner Corporation, he has spent about just over five years and most recently he has been a senior technical support engineer and uh, he, he's now joining, he's now transitioning from that role to an assistant manager in data science business unit of Concentrix. So Concentrix is a publicly traded uh, uh, business services company based out of Fremont in California. And uh, again, the most important aspect here is the successful transition of Saurabh from a, tech, from a senior, uh, again, he has seven years of experience, which is, which is considerable. And uh, he's moving from an experienced senior technical support engineer role to an assistant manager in a data science business unit. And the transition is what we want to focus a lot on. First of all, congratulations, Saurabh, on behalf of all of our team. I've been through your first case study. I've seen, I've seen the journey, you, the effort you've put in, the struggle that you've put in. And that's, that's a hats off to that whole effort. And most importantly, that persistence. Let's, let's go into it. So the first question that I had was many people with your sort of background might be little, little afraid to make a transition from their role to a data science role, right? So again, we have some students very similar to you who have this question in their mind that, hey, I'm in a technical support engineering role. Can I really make a transition to data science role? So could you walk us through your learning journey on how you made the most of the curriculum, assignments, mentorship, all of that? in making this successful transition? Sure. Uh, first, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you. Like thanks overall Apply DI team because uh, whatever, like what the kind of support which I'm getting from Apply DI team, like if I'm getting stuck in any assignment, like I'm continuously like keep on asking questions and they are like, uh, yeah, okay, you can do like this. Even in case study, I was getting some suggestion and these are the best thing. Like these are the building blocks. Like I developed my co concept uh, because of this change. Like uh, I was aware, like whatever the techniques that I have to do, but they have told me, no, you have to do like this. Uh, there is other techniques also. So I have applied. So that is the main thing from where I learned a lot on uh, like for this machine learning things. One of the associate, he, he was the data analyst in my company at that point of time. He suggested me about the applied AI course. And at that time I was again confused because I thought now I will put my whole effort uh, in order to learn all these techniques. But I was like in market, lots of other courses were there, but I thought, okay, I will check with uh, like every opinion, like who is currently working in that particular domain. So one of my friends, he suggested me, okay, apply the AI, like uh, just go through the videos. There are lots of online free videos of applied uh, AI and just go through those, those video and then decide whether you, you should go for this course. I went through the video, which like from the initial video where you discuss just the basic thing, like what are the data science life cycle and uh, uh, other roles, uh, like lots of thing was there. So I, I, I immediately like, uh, I started my journey in 2018. Uh, uh, in, to learn all these machine learning loads, uh, but later on in 2019, in the month of June or July, I joined Applied AI course. I came from support background, so there were no coding experience. And after uh, understanding the algorithm, I'm trying to implement those algorithms. So that was one of the best thing which was happened at that point of time. And I was able to make a code. I am. Uh, able to execute it and in case i'm getting any uh, kind of confusion like i was keep on like i have asked a number like lots of questions with the applied that's AIT. perfectly and okay we are were... happy here to help you and we see that you've put in so much effort right and whenever you are stuck it's also our obligation to help you because you're putting in the effort that's the most important part yeah and uh, it was like <laughs> 
every time I'm getting like within 24, like whatever uh, uh, you told, like in your video, within 24 hour, hours, you will get the answer. So every time, sometime within an hour, I'm getting answer from the, like what type of confusion I was having. So uh, I started and parallelly I was doing some uh, assignments. So uh, in first six months, uh, uh, for me, it was like one or two month of break also because I stopped because of some uh, personal work. I stopped uh, at that particular time. But again, I started from uh, 2020 January because I completed overall course content, which was mandatory at that point. Till December, I was completed all the course content, but uh, later on, like lots of additional videos on lots of the state of the art techniques. So those things I left at that particular of time, time. And later I was just going through all those videos, which was like time series and according to my assignment also like if i need those kind of concept while doing my assignment so uh, then i was covering those things cool, uh, cool. so uh, in first six months uh, it was uh, like um, i have done with three assignments and uh, three or four assignment and uh, uh, course content was almost i covered the neural network also in first six months but later on january february uh, I started like uh, with the other assignment, I completed rest of the 15, but like my first aim was to complete first 15 assignment so that I will get uh, like, I will work with applied AI team in some kind of self case study and yes. real, those would be some real kind of a case study. So I was, I was uh, like trying to do like, uh, okay, first I have to complete my first 15 assignment then I will get chance to work on some real case study. And meanwhile, what I was doing in my company, because I was having good number of experience also. So I was keep on in touch with the data analysts and data scientists in my Very company. Good. Very good. And, and like I was trying to understand like what type of problem they are trying to solve. So there was one problem which they were trying to solve, which was running because of our team. So I was most familiar to those kind of business problem because those business problem, like they are trying to solve, but it was internal project. And I was involved like, okay, sharing ideas, what actually is happening. So uh, I was like once or twice, uh, I had a conversation meeting with those business analysts and the data analyst team and trying to convey like how actually we are working. So uh, at that time, I was getting the idea on that project also that was so you were trying to company. you're trying to understand the concept you learned at applied AI course in the context of problems that your teams or the teams that you knew in data science were also working in that way you get a much more real world context of everything that you're yeah, learning because, yes and whatever like in your each and every case study you are like like this is the business problem and how we have to convert it into the machine learning problem so those understanding, like I was getting those kind of, uh, okay, uh, sir teaches us like this. Uh, so even I have to get uh, some problem like which is currently, because in my organization, lots of data was there, but the thing was there, the people were not thinking like, okay, where we can use, like in our team, because we, we are from support team. So I was put on like my lead and everyone, I was saying, okay, we can do like that. And that was the thing like from where I started uh, uh, having meeting with data and listing because my lead was also supporting and uh, we were having like a communication with the data analyst or the business analyst team just to get the idea how they are trying to cover. So see this way, I uh, like even my business understand like how we are trying to solve the business problem, those understanding also developed. And at the same time, with the help of applied AI team, I'm learning all the algorithms and uh, how these things are working and uh, uh, how we can convert those business problems to a machine learning problem. So those understanding was because of this applied AI course only. Actually, it's very and, important uh, for somebody like you with about seven years of experience, uh, especially for experienced professionals, right? Whatever, whatever domain they're in, whether they're in technical support, or sales, whatever domain it is, it's very important for them to connect the concepts, the new concepts that they're learning 
to the business problems that they or their teams encounter because that is that is the expected maturity from somebody with experience right right cool yes cool coming to your interview experience at uh, 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 at at, uh, at concentrix could you walk us mm-hmm. through how many rounds were there uh, what what was the focus of each round how much depth was being expected how much rigor was being expected from a, from somebody like you as you move into a assistant manager for a data science business unit so i'm just trying to understand what was the expectation from the company in each of the interviews and what level of depth and breadth were they expecting from you first round was because everyone is working from home so first round was uh, that python test so 25 questions were there so they were asked they asked me to uh, solve those within the 30 minutes so i i gave uh, like it completed within 30 minutes and i got selected in the first round of because i cleared that python code test uh, like syntax was there and apart from python there were a few computer vision questions and uh, in python code uh, like it was object uh, like how object is created and how if it would call class like what is going to call like those kind of those sort of question was there all these were multiple choice questions right okay. yeah yeah that was coding question because you can't code 25 coding. programs in 30 minutes right mm-hmm. that is right but uh, uh, after that uh, they, uh, they called me hr called me hr team and they told me yeah you are cleared with the first round and uh, then uh, they scheduled second round for me in second round uh, like it was about 30 to 45 minutes of round and at that in that round they started they wanted to know like all the recent project which i worked on so i told them yeah, machine learning problem each and every like whatever from where you are get, getting data after getting data what are the sort of thing missing value analysis what are the techniques what are different techniques for the missing value analysis and uh, after that uh, like lots of question in statistics also because statistics and i have uh, i have like in my past four or five interview i noticed that statistics is a, a very strong like everyone should be very good in statistics yes. also and that to whatever question like few scenario based question like whether they have understanding like where to apply which kind of uh, statistics technique and apart from that they are going to basic random variables like they wanted to know like whether i am clear with all the basic concepts also uh, like those thing are foundational clear to mathematics me. yeah right and uh, later on when they came to like they were few question on feature engineering also <clears throat> and after that they came to algorithm part uh, and uh, which algorithm you have used uh, which algorithm like you are comfortable so uh, uh, it was random forest any questions more from a deep learning perspective for this specific role uh, deep learning because i i told initially when i was introducing two project they told me okay please describe some recent two project at that time i told i recently have done image classification problem and where i am trying to implement i implemented vgg16 and i am going through other algorithm so they told okay you have you worked on computer vision project and after that like uh, in my f- last four or five interview also they are no one goes that much deep in deep learning section most of the question now company they are asking on machine learning very rarely or just for the understanding whether people have understanding or not uh, but in this interview in in this interview there were no question yeah, yeah. deep so learning some questions would also depend on the exact role the type of work that the team does mm-hmm. probably in the interviews that you attended probably they were not too deep learning focused they are more data science and ml focused mm-hmm. that could be the case mm-hmm. cool cool so uh, another question i had for you was uh, what suggestions would you give to somebody in your work experience right so somebody let's say probably somebody slightly younger to you or somebody even with your sort of experience 7 to 10 years experience or somebody with 2 to 5 years experience from a technical support engineering type of roles what suggestions would you give to those learners to successfully transition to careers in data science and machine learning 
for me like it was it is almost seven years now uh, it is 6.8 uh, six year eight months uh, so basically i would uh, i wanted to convey a message for the people who are like experienced and who's who are working in some kind of domain where there is no not much exposure to coding and all that so uh, how i started see it took almost two years more than two years because i started my journey at 2018 and uh, after that uh, lots of ups and downs was it then finally i joined applied ai course in the month of july last year even i believe two or three project is enough to get into the data science field like people are wondering like, how many project we can show uh, like it is two or one or two project because once they will start even any recruiter will start they would ask question from uh, like overall question like end to end question from one project only if you are even for me it was more than two project but they wanted to dig deep like in one project only not in all the projects so wow. two or three project is enough so companies are looking for end to end understanding from acquiring data mm. to being able to deploy a model using yeah, it yeah and yeah that is that is mandatory for people like me like seven or eight year of experience that is mandatory like the, like we should know that much of thing yes 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 sounds good saurabh uh, uh, thank you very much for taking the time in, to share your detailed journey and also to share your interview experiences and also suggestions for people like you who are seven or slightly senior senior roles with 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 about seven years of experience I'm sure a lot of learners, both at Applied AI course and outside of it, will surely benefit from the key learnings that you have had in your own journey uh, over the last uh, over the last couple of years. So, thank you very much on behalf of the whole team at Applied AI course, all of our students and all of our mentors. I'll surely share uh, your feedback uh, about our uh, with our mentors who have guided you in case studies and who have answered your queries. I'll surely share that feedback and thank you very much on behalf of everyone. thank you sir thank you and uh, lastly i want to again thank you whole team whole team of apply di because uh, uh, they are like effort what kind of effort they are putting day and night and that makes uh, like the learners like ours like we are the student and our things uh, like easier like they are just uh, even i'm getting reply at 2:30 or 3 o'clock in night also so that was uh, one of the great like best thing support team was fabulous because they provided me all the like within 24 hour and that too sometime within one hour and like that so i'm very 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 much thankful to uh, whole team of applied ai sure sir thank you very much